Today we're talking about rain. We Camino Teles, we are Camino Teles. We walked many Caminos and we're still going to walk many, hopefully. And we know that no Camino can be done without rain. There's no Camino without rain. Yeah. It's like Camino, rain. Camino, always Camino. And, and many of you probably will confirm the Camino, it's, it's the part of the rain. It's, it's the part of the Camino. And we have some people now on the, on the Camino uh -huh. who are uh, here. Doug, for example, Doug and Meg are on Camino right now and it's really raining a lot. Mm -hmm. Some really strange thing happened right now all over the world. We, we're not going to go into the, the details of, of the climate change. But just to let you know, there's the big hurricane in Florida, Hurricane Milton. And we send big blessings and big praise for, for all of those folks over there. And also in Europe, we have a hurricane called... Kirk. Kirk. Or in Spanish, say Kirk. And the hurricane is actually, and so many people affected on, on the Camino de Santiago. So the question of today is, what to do when it's raining on the Camino? Is there anything to do? Oh yeah, much more than you think. Because we'll try to not only lead you through practical tips on what to do when it's raining, about the gear, about uh, the different tips and hacks. But also the mindset. But... We will try to convince you or actually explain you how we convert the rain in our ally. Mm. And thanks to rain, we can have unforgettable Camino de experience. I know it sounds strange. It's like, how do you say it in English? I try to take the sweet pill to say something like, you know, like how to turn the rain into something unforgettable because you cannot avoid it. So you have to make it your friend so we'll try to see uh, show you how to actually make the rain your friend and see that it can be beneficial for your uh, camino by the way we have we also going to present you with the most sold poncho in the world or probably on the camino de santiago and erica will show you how to put it on professionally it's my first time I think. no that's the second <laughs> and a few other things and um, we also have a great announcement for today big announcement for camino de santiago and big announcement also for camino tellers um but that will come later mm -hmm. and as always say hi say where you're from the chat is full of people today um and if you walk in the camino right now raise your hand because we want to hear from you. We want to hear how is the situation on the, on the Camino right now. Doug and Meg said, we met Kirk yesterday. You met Kirk yesterday. How was he? I think it's a he. Mm, the hurricane came. Yep. Kirk. Um, who's on chat today, baby? So we have, we have Bob, Armando from Toronto, Doug and Meg, Michelle, Paul, uh, Fer, Graham. No, wait, wait. They told us how to pronounce your name. Graham. 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 Sorry. Is it right? Graham. Uh, Graham is Graham. Scottish, so you, yeah, someone uh, corrected us in real life the other day. So welcome, Graham. Who's also who's there? Ma, ma I don't know. How, I don't know how to pronounce this. Ma Xiao, ma Xiao. Simon, uh, Constantine, Jane, Joe. Yeah, Graham said that we said it right. Graham. Now we have to change the the way we pronounce it. Okay, okay. So, anyway, remember, guys, your input on your uh, ways of dealing with uh, Camino de Santiago uh, rain, maybe not Camino de Santiago, but the rain in general, is really valid. Okay, so let's co create the space of, of um, important hacks and important experiences. And we're going to share some of our lives of many different pilgrimages that we did and many different encounters with rain that mm -hmm. happened right there are many experienced people on the chat okay i many have been on the chat already on on the uh, camino or six six seven times 
So we have a beautiful, how you say in, in America, you say a dream team, mm -hmm. you know, dream team. dream team, you know, mm -hmm. like you, you play basketball when you have a basketball every it's, year. It's only on, on basketball. I don't know. I just remember that oh. every year the, the best stars from every position, they put them together like a dream team thing and, and they play together. So I feel like this is like a dream thing for today. Um, and what they, okay. Okay, let's start from scratch. First thing first. First things first. A weird Camino. Tell us, this is beautiful Erica. Okay, many people asking you, who is this Erica? She looks like a little girl. She is, but, but, but she already been walking for a long time. <laughs> no, she's not a little, I don't know, I'm in trouble. You know, I'm supposed to say she's a little girl. No? You're supposed yeah, to? Yeah, I'm supposed to say that you're young. In the, yeah, but no. Okay, Erika, what brings you to Camino de Santiago? What brings me to, to Camino de Santiago? Being lost in life. Being lost in life and finding a direction. Find the direction? Long story short, uh, what br brings you to Camino? I, 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 yeah, the and you have already. I have already. a microphone okay. already. So for me also the transform, transition moment of my life, of, of finishing one thing and getting to another, also the overcoming the health. I used to have a, a bit of a health issues, especially in the back part of my back. So it Camino kind of helped me to understand my limits and understand that I have no limits. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have. The sky is the limit. The sky is the limit. And so that's us, Camino Tillis. And we talk about Camino for a long, long time. Okay. Um, we we have a big community already 20,000 nearly people just on this platform one platform and any others still there and if you have any questions about camino de santiago in general and the rain you put them in the comments we're going to answer them all together yeah that was the quickest introduction i can make yeah 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 yes okay. i have already a couple of questions but we leave them for later we leave them for later okay so First thing, I want to show this to Dan and Meg. Don't mess with Texas. We got those as a present, guys. Yeah, thank you. Everything is bigger in Texas. So we, we decided we're going to use them. We're going to use them. And uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, first of all, let's start. Do you remember any of the Camino de Santiago or any of the pilgrimage that we did all over the world? that it we didn't encounter any rain are you asking me yeah no no which is the biggest rain you remember in your in your walking experience, walking experience? i think the first come the, the first one that comes to my mind is the one in india okay. the one with the monsoon ah, monsoon okay so raining raining like bucket style on your head ah. rain mm -hmm. and that you couldn't see the one next to you that kind of rain that was a big thing eh? yeah then after that i think everything is like a drizzle it's not a rough big rain so just to put you in the context some time ago we did 24 days walking in the monsoon time in india and the gandhi march which is mahatma gandhi pilgrimage in monsoon okay not a wise idea. Um, and what about the recent experiences of Camino de Santiago? Maybe something closer to San the... Salvador. San Salvador, we encountered San Salvador in Primitivo. Uh -huh. We had rain and it was funny one day. <laughs> who followed the live stream during our live, uh, our Camino know this, that we had to go down a mountain after a big rain. And it was like mud skiing because it was full of mud. We had to go down and like skiing on the mud yeah. with the trekking poles. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I remember one from, from Portuguese way. Ah. Hold on, hold on. I found the picture the other day. I found the picture. So funny. Oh, I have to share with you this because this is like, uh, this is like to be shared. Okay. Oh, too funny. Okay. So Ricky didn't have. 
Rick, uh, wait, let me see. Yeah, okay, this is that one. Yeah, Ricky didn't have a poncho. So what what was this? Was a a trash a trash bag? No, or was it cheap poncho? No, we bought this for cheap poncho for no, two euros. A, it was a cheap poncho for two euros. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your money, guys. Don't waste your money. Um, yeah, as you can see, uh, it was something. It was, it was something so different. Funny. So um, I think I think you have to invest a bit of money for uh, rain gear. Yeah, that would take us to the next part of, of this, which is all talking about the rain. But just to put you in the context that I cannot remember any Camino de Santiago, which I didn't experience any rain. You know, I'll tell you even more. Even in the summertime, when you enter the Galicia, Galicia is green. Why? Because it's rain. Yeah. Hmm. So, um, that's not only for people who actually walk in the Camino right now. That not only people who walk Camino in the early spring. This is about for all the people who walk the Caminos in general and any Camino you meet. Valid for everyone. Hmm. This is number one. So, <laughs> no, Mark says, Mark says you look stylish in yellow. Oh yeah. Ah, the, the, the uh, yellow. The poncho. I was looking at you. So what's yellow in you? your eyes so the idea is the idea is that is the subject on everyone's mind so we have this question really often what to do when it's raining mm -hmm. how not to because first of all the first thing oh you open the car you open the cart and you say oh it's raining today mm -hmm. and you don't want to go out first of all right and then you rain and you, you know you're gonna get wet then you you can get the blisters more easily because your feet are going to get wet. So how do we do things? Okay, mm -hmm. that's the first thing. And, and let's, let's jump straight into, into the details of how we do things. Let's talk about gear. Yeah, it, like we said, it's good to invest in good gear. Yeah, it's good to you saw the picture guys before about the poncho and we have actually hit few different ponchos okay we have a ponchos here that are mm -hmm. we don't even know rain jackets and ponchos it's a different story we have mm -hmm. some cheaper ponchos we have some more expensive ponchos is this the one that that you use that it opens everywhere yes ah, okay yeah this is a cheap poncho another cheap poncho <laughs> so the, the thing is do will i will i get wet all the time is there any chance i i'm not going to get wet on the camino de santiago with ex, with the gear that i have it depends if you're sometimes if you're swimming in a puddle uh-huh you're gonna get wet maybe you're covered at the on top mm. and not at the bottom but let me ask it from a different perspective what actually happens when you get wet you know, but this is the question, because we try to cover ourselves from every corner, from every absolute side. You know, some people even wear those um, waterproof, uh, how we call them, gloves, you know. They cover from up and down, an umbrella and the poncho. But what actually happens when you get wet? Will you melt? <laughs> Will you melt? Will you melt? No, you don't melt. So... It's better not to get wet, especially if there is many days ahead of you. So, but if you get wet, it's not the end of the world. That's the main premise of, of, this, of, this, uh, of this phrase, yeah? What, what is the chat saying, baby? No, I'm laughing because I'm thinking about... Armando said, I find the worst part of walking in the rain is the spots on my glasses. I know, right? <laughs> I hate it also. All the, the, the rain in the glasses. I hate it. Mm. Let's ask actually in the question, guys, who mind getting wet? Because maybe it's just for us, but who minds getting wet? So Camino for Everyone says, rainy days on the Camino always lead to lots of laughs, though. I think the rainy day are the one that we remember the most. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I find, yeah, I already agree. Uh, Bob, lots of food problems both during and after the Camino. You get wet from sweat, Ben, mm, in the poncho. Mm, good type, good idea. Maybe you are not getting wet because of the rain, but because of the sweat uh -huh. in the poncho. 
Camino for everyone. I fell in a creek once and there is, and that is as wet as you can get with boots full of water. Gore-Tex boots and double sock soaking with nylons under my socks kept me from getting blisters. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is actually curious. Do you, do you mind of get, getting wet? Because many people preferred just not to get wet. And we talk about, let's talk about thing, how to prevent the being wet. First of all, Gore-Tex shoes can help, right? Who are you laughing at? Robin. It's Robin now in uh, Galisteo on the Via de la Plata. Had some really rainy days and expecting more just tune in to get some expert <laughs> tips from expert <laughs> lips on dealing with the rain. <laughs> okay, especially, especially for Robin who who've been on our retreat last year, this year, was it this, this year? year? This year. It looks like a long time ago, but this year. Anyway, Robin, big kisses for you. And he's already on his second Camino. He went back uh, home from the Camino Frances San Salvador Primitivo, went back home, and then came back to do Via de la Plata. Well totally done. hooked. Well done, well done. <laughs> so the idea is, Gore-Tex helps. Gore-Tex is not ultimate thing. That means that Gore-Tex also gets wet, okay? But definitely, and I, I, I would agree here totally with Joe, because Joe is always, she's always telling us about, she's always using the, uh, the Gore-Tex shoes, Camino for everyone. Mm -hmm. And yeah, definitely, Gore-Tex can help a lot. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Though, you have to pair the Gore-Tex with something good. And this something good can be, oh. The raining pants. Yeah. Rain pants. So, you know, they even dirty. Why did, when did you use the rain pants? In Why are they 2000, dirty? 2001. And you never washed them no. from 2001? <laughs> so, um, just not to let the rain go from the top of the shoes, it's good to put the rain pants on. Mm -hmm. We don't use rain pants anymore because they occupy just too much. They are heavy. Yeah. They are heavy. Or you go for the poncho. And some ponchos are shorter and some ponchos are larger, right? This was this was long for you. It was also kind of okay. Kind of okay. Okay. But then now we bought this Altus which is supposed to be really good. We didn't walk Camino yet with this, but we bought it in September. So we are going to show it to you afterwards how to wear it. Uh -huh. And we're going to use it next year. Uh -huh. But people love it. There was a poll saying that seven days out of nine last year, or this year, this year, he had rain. He wore this poncho and he was, he was dry most of the times. Yeah, that's why it's the most bought poncho on, on the Camino de Santiago. Anyway, they don't pay us for that. You know, they don't pay us for that. We just simply say because it's a good poncho. But anyway, we'll talk about it in a second. So we have, we have Gore-Tex as the base, right? Some people also use the waterproof socks. What is this? Mm -hmm. You yeah. still have one, huh? No, no. <laughs> Yeah, but like Mark and Linda are saying, if we carry a poncho, rain pants, etc., won't our pack get really heavy? Yes. So if you think waterproof socks, waterproof pants, waterproof whatever. That, too much. This is actually the point of all this conversation and the question that we did in the beginning. Do you mind getting wet? Because if you don't mind getting wet, you'd only do it one thing. And the job is done, and you're going to get wet, and then you're going to get dry. dry, and that's how it works. The more things you put inside, so let's, let's, let's start from the bottom. You can wear those waterproof socks. You can wear the waterproof pants, water-resistant, waterproof. They're kind of similar, okay? Then you can have a waterproof jacket, then the waterproof cover on your backpack, and then the waterproof hat, hat and an umbrella, if you, if you wish. But this adds tremendous amount of weight to your backpack. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So we've been there. We've done it. And we've suffered. And we thought we're going to 
take it from a different perspective. We take only one thing that serves for the most of the cases, mm -hmm. which is the poncho, long poncho. Really long poncho. Okay. And, and that's all. And then we're just going to resist the rain. Yeah, but as, that's a good point also what Joe makes, no? I do not mind getting wet if the temperature is warm, hot. Mm. If I'm walking in fall or early spring with cold weather, mm -hmm. it's a bit tricky, right? It's a bit tricky. You need an extra change of clothes. And then... But Mark, for example, Mark and Linda are going to travel or Jane are going to travel in May. Mm -hmm. So there it's not cold anymore that They're much. Not cold anymore. What will happen now? Mm -hmm. Imagine that someone's going for the Camino now in two weeks. When Camino? <laughs> it's better to get prepared from the bottom top because if you get wet and if it's cold outside, uh, you might be in trouble of, of actually getting sick. There is someone, mm -hmm. I don't remember the name, I read someone going in January Simon maybe mm. hands up hands up who's going in January guys I think he was so January it's a cold month a it really rainy a... month no snow 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 yeah so you have to prepare for that but I think that people who travel in the winter are the ones that are already used to rain that's true so they don't mind the extra weight yeah Simon Simon. Simon is going in January. Guys, it would be really interesting to see when the Simon's actually preparing for the winter Camino and obviously telling us once on the winter Camino about his experience, right? We have experience now of people on the on different Camino groups. By the way, uh, are you in one of our Camino uh, WhatsApp groups? That's That's a really interesting thing. If you want to see how is the Camino right now? If you want to see, there is also, we have three different groups, right? Yeah, I can also share. We put the number. If you want to text us, we invite you. Mm -hmm. Or I share directly now the link to the WhatsApp community. We have three groups. Now on Camino. So you can see how is the Camino right from the from a different perspectives of, of many different pilgrims. Yeah. We have foodies. Oh. Foodies. There's no Camino. That's Erica's group, eh? <laughs> There's no Camino without food, like rain, Camino, uh, food, <laughs> and solo female travelers. So um, if you're interested to have any of these, if we're getting an idea of about Camino from that perspective, uh, get to our Camino, uh, Camino groups on WhatsApp and get... There was today Larissa sharing some invaluable tips on the, on the chat. <gasps> like uh, turn right on kilometer 53 because the road was closed so it's it's good that pilgrims share their tips no that's really yeah. really big Helpful. community thing so anyway just a quick shout out to everyone if you want to be a part of it but let me ask let me ask first of all who's walking the camino in in 2025 guys raise your hands who's walking the camino 2025 uh, like on the chat not literally <laughs> <laughs> because if you walk in it and if you can say if it's may if it's more of a spring summer or autumn mm -hmm. because then we can actually adjust a different part of equipment to the to the season, to the season right mm -hmm. yeah we have michelle michelle is going in september mm -hmm. jamie in may graham Paul, 2026. Mm. Yeah. Too Mark bad. and Linda in May. Graham, spring and autumn. Armando, May 2025. Bob, summer 2025, Camino Portuguese. Mm. Constantine's, May 2025. Happy days, happy days. So that's probably the, the most <laughs> after our retreat. <laughs> Yeah. So probably, uh, so probably the thing is that most of you that goes in the first part and the May part uh, are not gonna get as much rain, especially in in the middle part of the Camino, maybe approaching the Galicia. 
The, the weather is getting better. No? The weather is, may... is getting better. But still, it's good to know what minimal equipment to take with you. Mm -hmm. And I think the moment came actually to put the, the poncho one. Um, people were asking if we got the previous version or the new one. The previous version. We got the previous version and we asked what's the difference to autos themselves. And they said the colors and uh, some few changes, but minimal. 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 We asked them, we text them and said, guys, what's going on? Why so many ponchos? <laughs> what's the difference? And they told us that. Yeah, just the colors. I mean, in the new, newer version, you could get the orange. No, oh, would be my color. Yes, yeah, sorry. So the first important part just to have in mind in any poncho is the fabric because it, it can get warm in a poncho, okay? I, mean, I think the main option, the, the main bad experience of people wearing the ponchos is that they getting too hot with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like... The green effect. I'm getting I'm getting water inside. My poncho is broken. <laughs> no, you're sweating inside because you might have too many clothes on you. Yeah. So there's a good precautions. Hey, you never wear poncho with a down feather jacket. You are gonna die. <laughs> yeah. So and this particular this particular poncho has a rip stop material. Okay, super light, super if, if we. If we actually, I can take with my hand one one finger, it's so light. Doesn't it say, yeah, compared to the one that I had, the Decathlon, this is half weight, maybe. Super rich less. stop. So you can even get into the hurricane and you'll be fine. What is the other features that, that you have to look uh, look at when you have a poncho? I... That is long. That is long. It doesn't have to get to the waist. It's good that he covers the backpack, of course, and until your knees, at least, and also the sleeves. And this one has sleeves, which is also life changer, you know, because... Because the poncho that I had until now had an opening here that you have to clip mm -hmm. and all your arms are outside. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit, yeah, you get wet anyway. You can get wet anyway. And the, one of the important things is that those hiking ponchos have a special part for your backpack, okay? So like those special buttons that you can undo and you can stick your backpack inside. You can use it with a backpack. So that means that the backpack cover you can throw away. Yeah, maybe don't take it. Baby, would you mind to show us how to put the poncho correctly? Yeah, apparently it's e really easy. Okay. I hope I don't drop anything. You'll be fine. You'll be fine, guys. It's gonna be something. Yeah. We didn't. We didn't test it before. Hold on the microphone. Hold on. Before I break it. Yeah. Let's try it. Oh, it has a nice Velcro thing, right? A nice Velcro thing. Yeah. If Velcro is nice. Okay. Is this yours? This is yours. This is yours, but you're gonna look funny with the bigger poncho. Okay. How it's would It's like you... a wedding dress. So. You hold it this way. So this is the way from outside. You hold it this way. Uh-huh. Nothing there, baby. Nothing there. Okay. I'm gonna break it now already. This is We're gonna crazy. cut this part. Hold on, hold on, hold on, baby. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Please, hold on. Uh okay, okay. You go for it. Yeah. Can you see it, guys? One, two, and three. Easy. While you are walking, this is so huge because this is Ricky. Okay. My, so huge. Okay, that's, that's enough. That's enough. That's, you're going to get warm, baby, anyway. Yeah. But it's good that you can do this. You are packing it on top of your backpack, so it's starting raining. You take it, and then you do this, and you're already wearing it. You don't have to remove your backpack and then wear the poncho which is really annoying if you're walking and you don't know where to put the backpack hmm. you can actually do it while you're moving and then and then what you can also remove it this way then yeah i like the way you can put it on and off thank you baby you're welcome thank you for using me as a for the freak show 
Guys, did you enjoy this presentation? <laughs> Give us thumbs up, Erica. Erica doesn't know. It. Was it okay? Was it a Hollywood uh, Hollywood performance? Lori says it can be a little bit tricky when you have your backpack on. I needed help a few times. So yeah, sometimes if you don't open it well, it gets stuck in the backpack. This is the big idea to actually throw it on top of you, okay? Because it, it will land on your backpack and then you can simply adjust it, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, people love it. <laughs> Baby, you can do it every day now, hold on. Maybe Altos can use me as the... <laughs> Yeah. If the rain is intermittent, Paul, let me see what you can unzip it and take your arms out of the sleeves and it will stay on top of your backpack. Happy days. Happy days, guys. I like that you can take the arms out and then let it hang from the pack to dry. Thanks for the tip for putting it on. You see, that's a, uh, yeah, you're the poncho girl right now, eh? Poncho, poncho. So we know how to put the poncho on, but for us, the less weight that we take, it, it's that's the key for the convenient and enjoyable coming on the Santiago, right? Yeah. So taking all of your things with you, Goretex shoes, Goretex pants, Goretex uh, socks, and and everything waterproof, water resistant, and the, and the gaiters. Mm to put on top of your shoes so the shoes don't get wet. That's another thing to add. That's the one thing of doing the things. And the other one is actually getting the poncho and allowing yourself to be a bit wet sometimes. Okay? Mm -hmm. Big thing. Big thing. Oof. That was that was well done, Amore. Michelle, like a Superman cat. Hey. <laughs> that was something, eh? That was something. So, um, we got to the middle of, middle part of this of our talking mm -hmm. about rain, which is which equipment to take. Mm -hmm. Some people ask, do we need a rain jacket or do we need a poncho? Which is your view on that, Amore? We tried both. We tried both. We tried both. And um, last time we tried the rain jacket was in Camino Portuguese. Mm -hmm. And we got so wet. So wet. All our equipment in the backpack was completely wet. Wet, wet. Everything. And we decided to ditch the rain jacket and, con and convert into convert <laughs> to, to the believers of the poncho. We are poncho believers. Yeah, we are poncho people. Never again a rain jacket. <laughs> try to convince us. Anyway, if someone's watching it, try to convince us about the rain jacket. We can try it, but... Uh, not on the Camino, right? Mm, yeah. Maybe for light, light rain, the rain, rain jacket. By the way, if you just connect into us, as always, we Camino tell us we talk about Camino de Santiago mm -hmm. and we talk about rain today and how to minimize, prevent, or love rain on the Camino de Santiago. Can you love rain? Can you love rain? Because it's nothing, nothing worse than being surprised, uh, being your expectation um, crushed by unexpected situations like rain on the Camino de Santiago. It will happen. Yes or yes? It will. It will. If you are lucky, maybe it will happen once. But if you're not, prepare for uh, the worst. Prepare for and the hope most. for the best. So say hi, say where you're from, and say when is your Camino, because this is also an important thing. And now talking about when is your Camino, we have amazing, amazing news for everyone, because today, -ta 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 -ta, we officially launching our 2025 retreat. We actually have someone on the chat who already joined the retreat in 2025. They were on the waiting list. Just to let you know, guys, before even launching it officially, we've already nearly 50% sold out. We have Jamie, Mark and Linda. Who else is on? Michelle. Uh-huh. Wait, yeah. Okay, but just before, let's make a little bit of, for everyone who doesn't know what is the retreat of Camino, tell us, let us put in a little bit of, um, a movie that we did this year in one of, with one of the groups. Did you Robin? No, Robin was in the chat.
the only thing standing between you and walking the Camino is believing you can. This is our essence, building a community that stands beside you, helping you feel ready for the greatest adventure of your life. When you arrive at the journey within retreat, you find a safe space for you to be yourself, to share your story, and to simply breathe. Some search for days or weeks on the Camino to uncover their path, to uncover their purpose. At our retreats, we'll help you connect with yourself Feel your emotions, find harmony, and release what weighs you down before you begin. You will connect with fellow pilgrims, forming bonds that last throughout the Camino and beyond. Here, strangers become friends, and friends become family. The Camino is more than a path. It does not end in Santiago. It is not just about the destination, but the journey itself and each step on the Camino expands your mind, fills your heart, and renews your spirit. It's a journey of confidence and clarity, guided by intentions that empower you for the pilgrimage ahead. Our greatest joy is giving back to our community. Great experience with so much love. The retreat feels like home to me. Absolutely fantastic love with everybody that's here. Magical people, Ricky and Erica, thank you so much for making this happen. Together, we create this dream. Your spirit is unique. Bring your gifts, your stories, and your kindness, and offer them freely. Camino de Santiago is a lifetime experience. Join our retreats and make it unforgettable. Ah. <laughs> Wasn't it? Wasn't it something? It seems like last year or like two years ago. Well, yeah, so many things happened, no? Ah, so this year we've experienced five different retreats, um, and just before the Camino de Santiago, from which people started to walk their their Camino. Okay, and we've opened the list today officially for 2025. We have one in May. And one September, we have a limited spot. And, and only five spots left now. And for May, only 50% of spots left before even we started. So head to our website. Maybe Erica will share the link yeah, also. I'm not sure now. And, um, and yeah, probably if you watch it now, on the end of today, hardly going to be any entrances oh, left. Too good. Or maybe one, but if you're watching it, there's going to replay in a few days. I'm doubted that it's going to have any left. So be quick, be quick. And the most important thing is that you can book your spot. You can reserve your spot. If you feel that like you want to go, you can reserve your spot, right? Yeah. You yeah, yeah, it's just with a small deposit and uh, yeah, I can't wait. You can't wait. I can't wait. It was really fun. Really fun, no? Yeah. Um, so, mindset. Mindset. Hmm. So we're coming back to our to our Camino 2025, 2026 because the rain going to be here and there, and we can take we can take as much equipment as we want, yeah. Yeah. But there is one part and piece of equipment that is not on any packing list and it's called mindset yeah we've we, what is the biggest experience that you have a most common experience while you walk in the camino de santiago in rain what is the experience for me the experience for me is that for rick it's hard to it's hard to mm -hmm. To, to speak, so at last is a silence day. 
No, it's a really introspective day, usually. The rain, it like invites me, mm -hmm. at least. Mm -hmm. But I, I think also you, because you don't talk too much. Uh, invite me to go inward. It's really nice. It's really nice. And then if it's accompanied by, if it's like light rain, not torrential, like Jamie was saying, it's nice. It's mm -hmm. good. And with this noise of the rain on the poncho and you with like a walking meditation, no? It changes the vibe of the sunny, sunny, happy, flowery day of sharing experience with everyone to more of a, a walking introspection, which let's be honest, you need this on the Camino, in life in general, mm -hmm. but on the Camino especially. See, maybe sometimes it's actually the only way and the only day you can be with yourself fully. Yeah. And why you don't talk, why you don't talk to anybody, you talk to yourself because this thing that is here inside talks and talks and brings back and brings up the memories and, and many different thoughts. And you can have some really important understandings during the rain not only that not only that not only the introspection but i think that the rain itself can help us to understand more about adaptations more about resilience because also gratitude gratitude that's a big one yeah because yeah. it's if it's i don't know if you heard about this we always learn from the bad experiences yeah, so if, if everything is beautiful, if there is a sun uh, shining on, on the top of, of the hills... Yeah, you get used to it. You don't appreciate it. You don't appreciate it and you don't learn anything from that. But when there is this day that you get as wet as never before, okay, like a wet dog, okay, you kind of appreciate things a different way, mm. okay? It also teaches me... You see, this is the big thing of, of, of the changing of the moods. Like from something which is literally not as positive, like rain and your wet shoes, you can get so much of value. As Jeannie says, I love it. We need the rain to see the rainbows when the sun shines. True story. True story. She's so poetic. So this is the idea, guys. This is the idea that we can get as prepared as we want. But if we don't take with us, I say it about us. Mm. You try experiment, maybe it also works for you. If you don't get this part, which is the mindset part, which allows you to see uh, in, behind the rain or in front of the, or through the rain, yeah, that's, that doesn't, that changes everything. So introspection, gratitude. Resilience. Acceptance. Acceptance. And I think there's another one, big one, okay? Because now we're heading into, you know, the second part of the Camino, which is more of a body-mind, no? What about the expectations? If you already prepared for that types of weather conditions... If you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's a big thing. If you expect to be sunny... You're going to be disappointed. Oh, big time, big time. Gonna, at least if you're open-minded that anything can happen, mm. you're, you're open to embrace even the rain. And, and actually, you know what? It reminds me of one thing that, that we have noticed in Japan on the Shikoku pilgrimage. Actually, we've noticed about Japanese people because they experience earthquakes, tsunamis, typhoons, and all the types of disasters on a daily basis. And it's actually and time. really interesting, you know, because sometimes there is a tsunami and there's an the earthquake. And, and there's, no, there is a earthquake and then the tsunami. And then it's finished. It's, it's like now in stage, you know, they have, they have the Hurricane Helene and now they have a Hurricane Milton. And, you know, you've experienced and, and you're getting enduring this condition. And it makes you... A more mature person. I, more than mature, I think, like, 
it goes back to what I was saying before, no? to make every day count. Sure. Like, today counts because today we are here and we make the most of today. If it's raining, if it's sunny, if it's whatever, no? And uh, I remember when we were in Japan and there was this guy building this four-story building for all these motorbikes. Mm. Do you remember? And we asked him, are you afraid of tsunami? Because he was right next to the sea. That's true. And he said, no, that's life. That's I, life. Li I live my life. And if he comes, he comes. I, I cannot stop living because of that fear. No, it was nice. It's like one of those parts of the equipment non-physical equipment that if you take with you on your Camino journey, it can change it dramatically. Obviously, take your, your poncho with you. Take your Gore-Tex shoes if you're going in the rainy seasons, right? And, and be prepared physically. But mental preparation of that, I think, changed my Camino big time. Yeah. And I come from a country of from an area in Italy where it never rains or rarely rains. So mm. for us, when it rains, mm. everything closes, even schools. <laughs> <laughs> and for, we don't do anything when it rains. So for me, it was a big switch. Well, that was already in UK, you know, with a lot of rain. That life goes on even with rain. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's the good point. Um, that's the good point. Now we're living in a place when there's no rain. So... So we're not going to use poncho here. You can do the Scottish accent. Can I? So Graham says, my mom used to say, and then you go with the Scottish accent. You ought to play. Yes, you know, that's not, that's Irish, man. My mom used to say, go down and play. Your skin is waterproof, son. I did it well. I did it well. Is that Scottish accent? Uh, that sounds Scottish, guys. I, that sounds Scottish. Please, if it is we have three Scottish at least that we know in the chat. So and uh, try my Scottish uh, after after hours, you know, after we finish this, I always do some Scottish thing. Mm, the Ross is a, mm. <laughs> um, so this is this is the point. This is the point. You never know what can life throw at you. Maybe a big rain, maybe a, a Scottish person. <laughs> and or maybe something else be prepared for un, for unexpected and that can be a lifesaver yeah? yeah any questions do we have so um with this new system i cannot save them but someone was saying in may is it really rainy no it's not really rainy the first part of pyrenees can be really rainy depending of a day so this year we've been in I think we spent an entire month in, in San Juan Pierre de Port in Bar Carlos, so just in Pyrenees during the retreats. And it was raining nearly every day. Yeah. In May. Yeah, in May. Well, we had, at the beginning, it was sunny and really hot because there are microclimates as well. So there are some really hot days, and then suddenly mm -hmm. it starts raining. But we usually are really short rains, mm. not a long time. So, but it's possible that you're not going to have lots of rain, right? Not as much as right now. Yeah. So once you're actually preparing for Camino de Santiago, have in mind that the season, the, the later part of the season, like June, September, October, November, that you will find more rain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No more questions. I'm going to through this. Um, Anna is asking, were you thinking about a retreat in July or August? Be... No, no, we weren't thinking about that. But let us know, guys. Let us know, right? If, if you have any, if for any reason, there is no more spots available on the retreat right now because it's all, because it's all taken. Write us the mail, right? Write us the mail. Tell about, tell us about your your situation tell us about your dreams why you do in the camino and maybe we can do something you know maybe we can think about opening another date another camino moment Depends on, yeah if we have enough people interested 
we can open other dates yeah we can open other dates but for the moment we're going to go with may and september and yeah be quick because it's flying away really fast ross says that i was better with the accent she was better with the accent yeah yeah that's probably and that's yeah. me living in scotland for two years uh joe is also there joe, joe! Oh! you know one of the big things i have to tell you one of the big things is that the people that we we've seen today this year this year we've seen them last year also we, we, many people on the chat that with us for many many years right and then we passing to part of the Camino together, always seeing on the retreat, seeing each other on the retreat, and we're still friends after, you know? So that's a big thing for me, you know? <laughs> big Camino Tellers family. Remember, if you're still not subscribed, subscribe. That's absolutely for free. And it helps us to reach more people, interesting people, uh, interesting in Camino de Santiago and any other pilgrimages all over the world, yeah? I think we should conclude this. One last question, oh. Jamie question, and then we close. I'll go for it. It's not about rain, but it's about wildlife. What about wildlife? Uh, wildlife. Um, I stray dogs. I suppose you can find stray dogs here and here and there, but that's not really common on the main road. On the French way. Not so many stray dogs, but you can find them. Mosquitoes. Mm. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. If, wild you, if you consider mosquitoes. That's wild life, really wild. And some ants. So be careful where you sit. There is no more no many snakes. I remember years ago I've seen maybe two snakes on the Camino del Norte. And there's some birds on the Camino wolves. primitive way and some wolves. But not on the main one, Jamie, don't worry. But it shouldn't be a big issue. It's not like in, in States, no? You go in an Appalachian Trail or Pacific Crest Trail and they, the grizzlies attacking you from here and there. <laughs> so it, it's much more secure. Joe says big snails and slugs. That's also this one. really big. There's one. <laughs> Cows, so. but not wild. People are far, are by far the most dangerous animals yeah so uh, just to let you guys nice guys know today on sunday on sunday we have a next episode of camino san salvador where we uh, video where yeah. we experience some wildlife so if you want to see wildlife on the camino connect to, to sunday uh, sunday's video and yeah yeah i think we, we've done it yeah time to go and if you have any more tips about rain, write them in the comments. They can always help other people. Mm. Mm. Definitely. Mm. I'm thinking if we, if we actually forgot anything, we talk about the change of the attitude, the change of the mindset, the change to our mindset. We talk about the gear. You show the poncho thing. Yeah. And we share the big news about the retreat. Um, and the other big news. Which? Next week. Guys, next week we're getting the puppy. Yeah, we're gonna be parents from next week. We're getting the puppy. So um yeah, maybe you're gonna see it. Well, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it in two weeks. So we'll try between the cameras and lights, we're gonna take a puppy and try that he he actually doesn't destroy anything. It, it, it depends how he behaves, how he is in the new environment. We'll so, see. So um so stay with us no next next week no next still no in two weeks no in two weeks that's what in two weeks we're gonna have a puppy alive well we are gonna get it on saturday next saturday so in two weeks live stream uh -huh. there will be a joe is asking do you have a name do we have a name we do but we've we... changed it so many times i will tell you in two weeks time you will show you the dog the puppy and then you'll understand why we called him the way we did. Oh, we're so excited, guys. We are so excited. Anyways. Well, at the back of the camera, you have all the, his house, yeah. his things. <laughs> yeah. Big shoppings now. <laughs> big shoppings. So uh, be good, be safe. One more time, big blessings and big prayers to anyone in the difficult situation, Hurricane Milton, Hurricane Kirk, or any other hurricane or bad weather conditions big hugs to you guys whoever have this difficult moment 
And for everyone preparing for Camino, send us any information, text us, and um, and if you want more information, just be part of the community. And, uh, and, and yeah. Yeah, buen camino. And what they say, buen camino. Ciao, ciao, chicos. <laughs>